What's going on everybody? It's your boy Chef Brooks. I want to welcome you to the Test Kitchen here at Tankersley Food Service for Test Kitchen Antics. Today I want to make you a beautiful cornbread stuffing. So simple, something that I think your family will truly enjoy. Today we're going to be using cornbread that is a jalapeno cornbread that I sliced up and diced up. Super simple. About 30 minutes to do the prep work. And you'll need that cornbread, some chicken stock, some butter, some sage, salt, pepper, and garlic, some celery, onions, and some eggs. And then at the end, we're gonna do some fresh herbs. First job we have to do is get our bread ready. It's all cubed up, ready to go. We're gonna add our butter, and I'm gonna save about a tablespoon of butter for our vegetables. We're gonna add our chicken stock, three cups to about 12 cups of the bread, okay? We're gonna add some sage right to the bread just for the love, and then we'll add some more later. And then salt and pepper. And we wanna just mix that up really, really good so that we coat all of the bread with the stock and the butter. Just like that, super simple. Now, at the same time, I'm gonna to go to the stove top. I've got a big cast iron skillet that I'm gonna turn right on. That extra butter that I kept, I'm gonna add right to that skillet. Then I'm gonna grab my onions and my celery, already diced up, ready to go. So we just wanna get that saute in, and we're gonna cook it about three to four minutes. Make sure that you season it with salt and pepper. Real good. Good dusting is what I always say. And then we're gonna add some of that sage. Again, just a good dusting. Okay, so we've got our saute done of all our vegetables and they look beautiful. Look at those bad boys right there. And all we really want to do is go right into our bread and just give this a good toss in. You can get in there with your hands if you like, but just a rubber spatula will do. And we want to let this stand for 15 minutes. The reason why we're going to put raw eggs in there that are very well whisked together and we don't want them to scramble right off the bat. So we want to let this stand for 15 minutes. All right, our 15 minutes are up and we are going to add our eggs right into our mixture with our bread. Just give it a real good toss. I'm going to add about just about all the rest of the sage here. We want it to have good flavor. We want the house to smell like cornbread dressing when the family walks in. And man, we're going right in to our cast iron skillet. Oh, listen to that. Still got some love to it. Oh, that's gonna be so good. This has to go into a 375 degree oven for about 40 minutes. All right guys, our time is up. Our stuffing, oh, it smells so good. Let's get her out of the oven. Oh my goodness. I want you to see the beauty that is that. Mmm, so Southern, so much my grandma, you guys. I hope you'll enjoy this recipe. I'm gonna put it out for you. And have a great holiday from all of us here at Tankersley Foods, Test Kitchen Antics.